So I think we've learned actually quite a bit from the last uh, um, uh, decade, really, of what's going on in, in neuro-HIV. Uh, people are living longer. They're on um, effective antiretroviral therapy. And we're finding that those individuals are still having uh, a more rapid rate of uh, neurological symptoms that includes cognitive decline, can include increased risk of stroke. And so I think what we're trying to do now is really study people that are aging um, on therapy, try to figure out what it is uh, that's causing this sort of accelerated decline. We know from CDC data from 2015 that about uh, anywhere from 20 30 percent of individuals who are newly diagnosed are actually over the age of 50. And so it is a unique population. 40 percent of those individuals who are over age 55 are diagnosed considered late stage disease or considered having AIDS. And so that is a unique and at risk population. And it could be that um, providers don't think older age populations are at risk for acquiring HIV. Um, they themselves, people, don't think that they necessarily are at risk for acquiring HIV. And I think, you know, in mo many individuals, um, while they see their primary care doctor, they may be seeing other specialties like neurology, um, and it may behoove us to kind of sort of bring in neurologies and other sort of specialties into the practice and seeing whether or not HIV should be part of their algorithm in terms of testing.